Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to another weekly vlog. So I know that we did not have a weekly vlog up last week. And the reason for that is because I don't know what's been going on with me. Last week, I literally just did not have energy. I did not like I literally couldn't even talk to friends. Like I messaged one of my friends like every day I, I couldn't even talk to her I physically like just you know I don't know I cannot explain it I was exhausted I was tired it could be like a little bit of a vitamin d deficiency I am taking vitamin d but it could be that uh, it could be because I've just completely stopped working out altogether I don't know what it is it could be a lot of different things because I have felt this way before it could just be my my body needed rest too i don't know because there's been just a lot of things like emotionally that have been like emotionally draining and you all know the deal like sometimes emotional things that are heavy can be more draining than physical things you know what i mean so i'm thinking it was probably somewhere along the line of that just things have been really, really, really heavy lately. Um, I miss the holidays and ever since my divorce, some holidays I'm great and I'm fine and I'm happy-go-lucky and so excited and like, yes, like I love this time of year. And then sometimes I'm just like, I hate this time of year. I want it to end. I will say I never have liked Thanksgiving ever since getting divorced. Like Thanksgiving is the worst holiday for me after my divorce i think it's just also being lonely oh my gosh it has taken such a heavy toll on me oh it is bad it's really really bad so um yeah i sat down last night wrote out goals for the year of 2023 because I really, even if I don't make friends, I need to have acquaintances. You know, I, I, I follow this one girl on TikTok and she mentioned about how everyone she knows has her, has their everyday person. And it was when I was watching that, I was like, that's when I realized that's what I'm lacking. I don't have an everyday person that I go do everything with. I have people I can call if I want to, but then I'm like, well, I'm not close enough to anyone, so I really don't. I mean, unless there's something that I really want to go do and I don't want to go do it alone, then there's some people I could call, I guess. But other than that, it's just like, do everything alone. And then my kids are at the ages where they're like, mom, get away. You're so annoying. So it's like I don't even exist to them anymore unless they want something from me and it's hard it's a really hard transition because there have been so many sacrifices that i've made you know that every mom makes that every parent makes um and then when you hit this part it's like well shit i have like more freedom than i've ever had before but it's like i would rather not and i'd rather have my kids like I'd rather not every time they talk to me sound like they're annoyed at me or with me or, you know, it's just, it's hard. Weekends have been hard for me. Um, it's just a lot. So a lot of emotionally heavy things have been going on and I am um, trying to make it the best that I can, but I just, I literally did not have the energy. I didn't have the will. I didn't have the motivation in me to film and it's not just about filming but it's editing but also always feeling like I have to be on you know like if I had filmed last week y'all would have heard me complain every time I picked up a camera and I was like I was annoying myself so you know I was just like I just won't put anything up so that's where I was that's really gonna be it for today because I gotta go edit I gotta stop talking and go edit and I'll see you guys sometime throughout the week I don't know what the hell we're doing I do know that I've got to clean out my closet so I'm going to do like a before and after because there's no room for me to like actually film me organizing the closet. But um, yeah, we'll do that sometime. I got to do that sometime this week. And that's really all I got for you. We'll see what we get into this week. But yeah, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.
See all I tried? I tried <laughs> to work out down there. I swear, every time I go to the business center, printer or computer's not working. Every time I go to my little dance studio, it's like the internet's not connecting or something. It's so freaking annoying because it's like you pay for this kind of stuff, you know? Like I literally pay rent and for all of that stuff that I don't even get to use. It's frustrating. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish my workout because this TV works. The internet works here. That was intense. For those of you wondering, uh, I'm a member of the Fitness Marshall channel membership. <sighs> and I just got my butt kicked. It was good though, it was good though. <sighs> I haven't danced and I can't tell you when. Like I said, last week was just such a crap week. I really, really, really enjoy dancing in like the little gym, yoga, bike studio because I know, I know, I know my neighbor can hear me and I like try to like go all in and I feel like I can't go all in here. So that's why I like dancing there. So it's like so frustrating that I got control. He went and worked out at the other gym. It's so frustrating that it's never working. Anyways, I just got my butt kit. Look at me sweating. Oh girl. New day, more problems and issues, y'all. I'm exhausted. I am so over things, just. <sighs> but we're gonna think positive today, even though it's dreary and gross. <sighs> we are not gonna eat our feelings and we are going to do something to make ourselves feel better. I don't know. Okay, so tonight what I wanna do is when I take, before I take my makeup off, I want to, cause you know, I have like hooded eyes. <sighs> Never used to. But I always wondered why does liner not look good on me? I just can't do it. And maybe that's true. Maybe I just can't do liner, but I wanna try this technique. So this is for hooded eyes. So you draw the line and then you draw a line like right there which that's like right at the end of her like eyelid. And then she goes boop, boom. Wait, hold on. She goes, she so she connects. So she drew, drew a line from the tail to that little boom. And then she went shoop. And then she filled it in. So I'm gonna do that tonight, but Today, where is that? Where is that TikTok? Okay, did I save it? I wanna go through, there's this girl and she's like, you need to do this if you want to contour your nose and you haven't been able to. What do y'all be doing? Okay, I think this is her. Tag me in, I got you. I'm a makeup artist and yeah. a okay. educator and I'm about to tell you how you can get the best contour of your life every single time. Okay. And yes, even if you suck at doing your makeup. Okay, so let me tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need your highlight. This is a Juvia's Place concealer. This is what I'm using. I think this is contour. my highlight. This I don't know. This is black opal cream stick foundation. It's my favorite. You're going to need a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Okay, this Okay, fluffy eyeshadow brush. We gotta get one that's not, she said, I remember her saying this is like very important. It's like very, very important. You do not skip out on this one. So, I really need to, so okay, this. Is it similar? This is the key. This is what's gonna make your contour pop, okay? And you're gonna need a beauty blender. Beauty blender, okay. Because we're gonna do it together. So you're gonna take your concealer down the center of your Okay, so you take your concealer, she says, and it's going to go down the center. So she literally starts like up here. Okay, so like up here. This girl ain't got wrinkles. Up. Look, y'all. 
I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. Do y'all see this? Y'all ask, why are you not a makeup? This is why. This is why I'm not a makeup artist because I would be messing people's faces up. I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. But this is what hers looks like. She ain't got no wrinkles like I do either. Let's just, let's just move past that. But here's the thing. When you go to blend it out, you only want to blend the edges of your concealer. Not the middle of it, just the edges. A lot of people think hers looks so good. Look at how she blended that. I don't know if it's like really picking up, but it looks so good. So blend just the edges. I feel like I have such a thick amount. <laughs> Y'all help me. There is no way that you're not going to be able to see this if you don't blend this out all the way through. Like, can y'all see the dewiness on the concealer? Oh my gosh, okay, so. Wait, did she do a pointed? I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's not do a point. Let's not do the point. Just the edge. No, it's transferring, it's traveling. You're not supposed to travel. Okay, y'all, it is like, it is pretty dewy, so I don't know how this is gonna work, girl. I don't know how it's gonna work. All right. That is the contour that makes your nose look thinner, and it's not. It's actually it's the, the highlight. Of the highlight that she says it's the width of the highlight that makes your nose look thinner, not the contour. Makes your nose look smaller. In other words, however wide you make your highlight on your nose, that's how thick it's going to look. So you don't want to blend your highlight away. You should still be able to see the highlight down the center of the nose, but the edges of it should be nice and soft. Next, you want to get... <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this, but like, look at her nose. And look at mine. You cannot tell me. Like, you can visib visibly see that the you can visibly see that there is product on my nose. Some of your contour on your eyeshadow brush. Now this is the important part. This is going to change the game for you. Okay, you want to place the tips of your brush at the side of the highlight, not the side of your nose. You are contouring the side of your nose, which is why your nose looks, it doesn't look contour, it looks wide. Oh my gosh. You actually want to be this looks contouring the side of the highlight. All right, so okay. get that on your nose like that. And if you make it too thin, you can always go back over it with your highlight just to kind of widen it a little bit. But essentially, it should look kind of like that. I'm going to have to fix it off camera. Okay, so I fixed it. This is about how wide I want my nose to appear. So then you're going to take your beauty blender and just softly blend the contour. Notice I'm keeping everything kind of separate and then softly kind of blend away the edge. Now, oh wait, she's doing as this much just as you like. But that is how you get a perfectly snatched nose contour every single time. I hope that helps. Every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I can't with this. Oh my gosh. First of all, that color is way off. But I see where she's going with this. I see where she's going with this, y'all. But I don't think I look good with a really thin nose because I already have, like, that Italian nose. So, like, my problem that I have with my nose is, like, this part right here. I want this part and my nostrils to look smaller. So, any of you out there that really know about like contouring and highlighting and all that stuff, what can I do to make the bulb of my nose and my nostrils look smaller? Because I also feel whenever I do this and I try to make my nose appear thinner, it makes it look longer and I don't like that. So, because I have a pretty long nose. Well, we tried, you guys. We tried. She did a really fantastic job. But again, I can see where she's going with this. So, um, well, I needed that laugh. So that was great. What color is this, by the way? Soft tan.
I'm just like, now I have like a bunch of product just piled up right there on my nose. That's not gonna go away. But I do wanna come on here before I do, before I take off my makeup for the night and I do wanna try that wing. I kinda wanna try it now. Like I'm really not going anywhere. Do y'all wanna try it together? I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with the lashes on and I don't wanna take off my lashes. This is the one and only liquid eyeliner that I own and I don't even think it's that great. I just don't, I don't, I, I don't ever do liquid liner because again, I suck at it big time. Okay. So. She puts a little line. The end of her eye like this. Okay. And then she draws this. Okay, so I know you're supposed to take your flick. Just kind of do it like that. Okay. Now I'm supposed to take it from here to the line. Okay, so from here to here. Okay. Oh, see, this is my problem right here that right there is always my problem. It always looks horrendous right there. Maybe I'm not placing the actual line properly. I don't know. But then she went from here down like that. I don't know, maybe this will come out looking good. What do we think? I think it looks kind of weird. Y'all let me know what you think. I don't like it because the reason I don't like it is because if you see, look at this, look at me from the side. That, this that we have drawn right there, when you look down, yeah, okay, but like, you're gonna seem like this, okay? It's completely hidden. It looks absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know. I never know how to do, maybe it's my flick. No, nah. same thing. When you look from the side, it's just, it just gets hidden in that. I don't know. I feel like this one actually is a little bit better, but not really, not really. I want to do winged liner i mean looking at it like this and like it's not it's actually not that bad i mean i'm gonna finish it up i think this is a little too dramatic for me anyways i just want a good classic wing you know what i mean do y'all ever do this like okay so i'll do a smoky eye or i'll do an eye and i'll be like oh my gosh it looks so good and then i'll close my eyes and i'll take pictures and i'm like that looks horrendous happens all the time it's like it looks good when when my eyes are open but then I close them and it's like what just happened why is my phone going so dang slow yeah see no that's not cute like do you see that maybe the because you can still see it's like still getting caught up in that fold you know the fold of the eye i never had hooded eyes before i got old that looks good though chill i'm actually really surprised i did that because i'm telling you and i tell you i suck at liner i suck at liner i mean my eyes are closed it looks good my eyes are closed it looks good i'm, pr I'm pretty impressed with that this one's a little wonky, like right here. It's a little, little messy, but I'm still pretty impressed with that. Especially not even be able to like do it like normally with my full desk, just kind of like doing it with my arms in the air and not holding on to anything. 
If y'all have any tips, let me know. Let me know, girl, because I say this is not it. It's also a little too thick. It's a lot thicker than what I would like for it to be. And like recently, I've even just been trying to do shadow and I'm like, why can't I do a wing? It's like I it's like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing, but then I don't. These are also not even. I'm sure you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like make it less intense because it's pretty intense. Oh well, we tried. My battery is dying. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make myself feel better because it has been a shit show of a day again. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect I went to Walmart and Target this morning. Walmart specifically because I wanted to take back a heater that I got for Kendrell that didn't work. And I ended up coming home with way more. But I was like, okay, look. I was like, I might as well go ahead and get their stocking stuffers, right? So I got them each some Kit Kats. Why was I thinking Kicks? Anyways, Kit Kats. Both of them Twix. And then this one's for Ava. She loves sour things. I also love that pink. And then Control loves gummy bears. So I got him this one. And then they both love cotton candy. So hopefully all this stuff will fit in their stocking. This is their stocking stuffers. Um, what else? Y'all. Let me. I got some good things, okay? I found some really cool things. Check this out. You know how I said Control loves gummy bears? Are you kidding me? Girl. Okay, this I'm actually like, I'm wrapping this and putting this in it. Actually, I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to put it with his stocking because technically it is a stocking stuffer. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is massive. He is going to love this. Absolutely love this. So yeah, I got this for him for his stocking. Girl, I'm sweating. I'm like, it's hot. It's, well, I mean, it's actually like chilly out there, but I go from cold or chilly to hot, chilly to hot. I'm like so over this. Baking soda. We were supposed to make cookies on Saturday. We couldn't because I forgot I don't have this. <laughs> so now we can make our cookies this Saturday. Uh, what else did I get from Walmart? This is more, okay, so girl, this is going in my stocking, okay? I freaking love these. I had these last year and I was like, these are freaking amazing. So, so, so good. So, Ava loves the Lindor. You know what? I'm so upset. Okay, so Walmart did not have the Lindor truffles in any kind of special packaging or any kind of Christmassy anything. They just had them like this. I go to Target and they had such a huge selection full of all different kinds of the Lindors in different Christmas packaging. And I was like, 
They also had the chocolate on sale too. And I was like, I just bought all those Lindor truffles for her. So, cause these things are seven bucks a bag, aren't they? Yeah, six forty eight. So anyways, I got her a milk chocolate and I also got her a white chocolate. I feel like, no, she's not gonna, I'm just gonna like, maybe I'll decorate with a bow or something. I don't know, but they did have some really cute they had them really cute at Target. That was everything from Walmart and that's all their stocking stuffers. Okay, these little hot chocolate toppers. Okay, so I have, girl, I can't find it. I really need to organize this again. It is disgusting. <laughs> it is disgusting. But I have like 25 calorie hot cocoa. And then I mix it with my sugar-free peppermint mocha creamer and it's so good, okay? So good. And then I was like, this is gonna be perfect. You just plop this on top and it gives you an extra 80 calories, which isn't that bad. I mean, obviously I haven't tried it yet, but I love dark chocolate and I love peppermint crunch. So I thought, and I love marshmallows. I mean, hello, they're marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow with peppermint on top. So I got those for me and then I got these for the kids. And of course, if they want, Control doesn't like dark chocolate though, so I know he won't have any of these. But I got these for them, little Christmas trees with sprinkles. And then I was going to get this one hot chocolate bomb. I was gonna do the hot chocolate bombs where you make them, but then I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know that I have the patience. Anyways, I found this box that was like three of them and they were really pretty decorated. And I was like, mm, but then I saw these and I was like, oh, these were down the coffee and hot chocolate aisle. So these ones are really cute. So this one, they're hot chocolate bombs. I don't even know, Ava really doesn't even like hot chocolate. So she, girl, she better, she better drink this because it was expensive. Um, but anyways, this one is a white chocolate with sprinkle and this one's just milk chocolate with drizzle. And then this one, oh girl, this one is, uh oh. Okay, well that's fine because Ava likes dark chocolate. So dark chocolate with drizzle and then milk chocolate with salted caramel. So hot chocolate bombs and then look at this. I about died when I saw this. I was like, Contrell is going to love this. He is going to love this, okay? This is his favorite game. But not only that, you literally play with chocolate. I mean, <laughs> Two of his favorite things, candy and Monopoly, all into one. I was like, oh my gosh. It's a literal, like literally you can play the game. It's got 32 milk chocolates, 40 cards, one arrow spinner, and one game board. I was debating, I'm like, should this be a stocking stuffer? Because if it is, then I need to get Ava something more. Or what I think I'm gonna do is wrap this up and this is gonna be a family present. Like this will be like for all of us. So this will be something that we open on Christmas Eve and play or yeah, cause we'll need something to do on Christmas Eve. So yeah, these are $10. If you can find them, they had the Monopoly and then they also had Candyland. I thought this was freaking genius. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna, like I said, wrap this and put it under the tree for all of us to like a, for a family present. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on their, do we have bows anymore? Ribbon, anything? You know what? I know the office is going to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, st and keep this in the bag and see if I can still put this in their stocking. I'm not gonna be able to put the can cotton candy. So I think I'm gonna wrap that stuff. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get their stockings together. These are for us to enjoy now. So yeah, let's wrap some presents because I got some presents to wrap too and get these stockings together for my babies. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having
having a good, good time. So much fun The snowman is twice the size It's me with a smile It's quirky as mine We're holding hands To keep each other warm While we stand And watch a choir performing All the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while We're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want Is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Chocolate by the fire 
Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe Baby with you Okay, so finish that. I could not get this wrapped with, and I didn't feel like doing another like off that roll. So I'm going to just put, I'm going to put all the stocking stuff in my closet, by the way. It's not going to sit out here because obviously you can see pretty much everything that's in there. But the office is going to have like a little wrapping station pretty soon. So I'll just put this like in a cute little bag, a cute little bag and have it. It's going to be all cute. And I think I'm going to put some bows on a couple of like my parents present is under the tree and then the one that I just put from from Santa for all of us I'm gonna put I'm gonna make that all pretty too I cannot wait for Christmas by the way I cut my my hand on this glass tray when I was moving it anyways I'm gonna finish or I'm gonna start I'm gonna cook lunch i'm gonna make lunch and i will catch up with you guys later on today and i'm gonna show you what the before of my closet looks like i really should have gotten some lawn bags because y'all there is so much that i'm about to donate to the women's shelter it's insane she's so sweet Yeah, you are. You my sweet girl. Yes. Hey y'all. So it is 1.38. Lunch is done. It was delish. Let me show y'all my closet before. Oh my gosh. These shoes are insane. But I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> And there's a ton of shoes down here too. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear to the Bahamas. What I'm gonna wear like on the cruise. What I'm gonna wear like my shoes. Okay, anyways. I don't even wanna show y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. This is just what my shoes look like. I don't think anything's really gonna get done with that. I'm not really concerned. My main concern is really going through these clothes because honestly, there's so many things in here that I want to wear and I'm like, oh, I forgot I have that because it's all just like kind of like packed in here, you know? So anyways, let me step back. So from here all the way, girl, all the way back there. And then we've got this to this. Okay, so yeah, here is my messy ass closet. We are about to declutter, and when I'm done, I will show y'all how many bags I have and what this looks like. Wish me luck. I'm gonna play some music, do some dancing, and get this done. Okay, so Contrell just got home. Wait until I show y'all this. Just wait. <sighs> I need to buy me some frames. I don't know what size these are, but I need to frame these because they are amazing. Look at this. Look at how amazing this is. I'm just like in awe, okay, in awe. And then, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He said he doesn't like this at all. And I'm just like, this looks so good. So proud of my baby boy. He's so talented. Uh, okay, so it's artwork. You wanna put this back in your, ooh. Okay, so now I have to show y'all because I'm finished with my closet. I literally just finished. 
I thought I was gonna have like four bags of clothes and I didn't. Um, there was just a bunch of stuff that was just kind of like stuffed and then extra hangers. Obviously I'm, I'm still getting rid of some stuff and then some things I'm like, okay, this doesn't fit yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this little box that's in Control's closet for things to get into. <laughs> And then I figured that these clothes over here that were hanging up, I'm like, I don't really want to wear those anymore, like out. Everything that's in my closet is stuff that I'll wear out, but stuff that I'm like gonna put in my drawers in there is going to be stuff for staying in the house or like working out or whatever. So we've got this stuff right here, which is like all t-shirts, graphic stuff. Um, I'm just kind of like over that, so. Maybe I'll get back into it, I don't know. But that's where they are right now. My battery's about to die. Um, this is the bag of things that is going to be donated. So really not that bad. Those are my hangers. I was like, whoa, that's a ton of hangers. And then I'll show you the closet. Look at this. I even color coordinated everything. So these are all of my tank tops, undershirts, like sleeveless shirts. And then again, color coordinated. So these are all of my sweaters, long sleeve shirts, all that stuff. And then here you get into my like blazers or kind of like decorative jackets. That's not gonna really like keep you warm, but they're just something to add up over, you know, something, you know what I mean? Then I got my hoodies and then I got more jackets that are like warmer. And then I have a cardigan and then all of my summer dresses. And then these are jackets that don't fit at all anymore. And then these are like super fancy dresses. Um, I'm still debating on what dresses I'm gonna wear to the cruise and on the cruise. Um, but then I, over here, shh, I, had, I put this over here to hide that. Okay, my battery just died, but I'm not sure if after Christmas I'm gonna keep it there or if I'm gonna move it, like maybe move this down or maybe like put it in that little area right there. But right now we've got my jeans and then pants and I color coordinate those as well. I did not color coordinate the jackets. They actually, they are kind of color coordinated, but this looks so much better and it feels so much better when I come in here. And now I can totally just go in there, look and see what I have and just kind of like, instead of being like, I don't even know what I have in here. So now I know and I feel super accomplished today because I got a lot done today. Hey y'all, good morning. It's the last day you're gonna see me with this hair because we are gonna go get it chopped. Okay, so I pulled up some pictures and I've decided I'm gonna go with a lob, okay? I, for many years, have had an angled bob. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I loved it, okay? I loved how short it was. I loved how low maintenance it was. I just loved everything about it. It was like amazing. And then I just felt like, oh, it's just like not feminine. Cause like when you're feminine, you need to have long hair, da 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 da. So I got to thinking and I was like, you know, I feel like I only have long hair because like everyone tells me I should have long hair. Or like, you know, I'll like ask control, I'll be like, should I cut my hair short, like really short? And he'll be like, no, it's so pretty long. And I'm like, and then I get in my head, I'm like, oh, it is so pretty long. And you know, sometimes you're made to feel like you're not feminine if you don't have long, luscious, beautiful hair. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I've looked at my hair and I'm like, I don't want to go, it's so pretty. Why, why have I been hating my hair like every day up until the day <laughs> that I'm gonna go get it cut? And today I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. I don't want to cut it. Anyways, I'm going with, I'm not doing like, I used to go like short, short, like here with my bobs. I'm going to do a lob. So this is an idea of like how I want it curled, but also I love this cut too. Okay. Here is another one. This one's a little bit longer. I think I might go with this one more so than the other one, but I'm just going to show her and like give her ideas. I also love this though too. Here's the thing, and this is what I'm gonna tell her though, like anytime I've ever gotten my hair cut to my shoulders, I always have that flip out, and I don't want the flip out. It's so, I don't like it, but it always does it. Even when I go to straighten my hair and all that stuff, it'll still flip out, so that's what I don't want. 
Um, but this is still really pretty and it's still pretty long. I mean, it's not like long, long, but it's also not short, short. So it just all depends on like where I'm going. Cause then I thought, I, oh, but this one's a little short. Okay. I don't know about this one. This is a soft A line, A line bob. But this one, I think, is my favorite. I think the waves are my favorite. I think the cut is my favorite. So I'm thinking that this one is the one that I'm going to go with. And then that is also, like, the inspiration. This is apparently a wig. But, girl, you know that I ain't no wig. <laughs> but, yeah. So that is what I have decided. And hopefully... It's going to turn out and I'm going to love it. I am, I am affirming that I'm going to absolutely love it. And I love my long hair. I just, I feel like it weighs me down sometimes. I feel like, you know, I never like really have it in front anyways. Cause I always feel like it just looks so strangly and stringy. So I don't know. That's what's going to happen though. And I'm excited, but I'm about to go into party city I, let me see if Walmart has, when I was looking at Walmart the other day, I didn't see any of their 2023 stuff out, but girl, we celebrated this year, 2023, anyways, I'm going to go to Party City, and I'm kind of just going in there because I need to waste time, because I'm taking myself on a solo date today, I'm, it's like a solo date slash self-care day, um, but the solo date part, I guess, is taking myself out to lunch, and we're gonna go to Panera, but it is 10.59, and I don't feel like eating this early, and I'm not quite hungry yet, so we are gonna stop and go to Party City and look at their 2023 stuff. I have a, a credit of, like, $35, so I'm like, I might as well. I know I could probably get stuff from Walmart or Target for cheaper, but let me see how much I have this credit for. $34.24. $34.24. $34 but I'm excited for today. I'm excited. I went to the doctor. Did I tell you that already? I went to the doctor, got um, refills for my prescription, and then I also asked him for the patch for behind my ear for the cruise. And he also prescribed me some anti-nausea anti nausea medicine. Um... So, yeah, I need to call the kids' doctors and see if they can also get... Because <clears throat> you going on a cruise and not knowing if you're going to be nauseous or not, ugh, that would be so horrible. And that would completely ruin your cruise if you're nauseous the whole entire time. So, we're going to get the patches. And he gave me some anti-nausea medicine, too, like I said. He said it literally dissolves under your tongue. So, um, that's what we're going to do. So anyways, I'm going to go into Party City and see if we can get some 2023 gear. Because, girl, we partying. We partying it up. way too much to choose from i have to bring the kids here because i don't know do i want glasses do i want a headband do i want three headbands i don't know <laughs> do i want necklaces oh <gasps> they had so much stuff did you see the stuff for the dogs oh my gosh those were so freaking cute so cute but yeah that was a little overwhelming i did not expect to see all of that i was like whoa <laughs> 
so yeah lots of different I don't I know I don't want a hat I know the kids can't really do a hat because of their hair so but like the amount of headbands some of them lit up some of them didn't I really like the one that like kind of flashed that said it was black and gold and it said happy new year but then I also am like I want something that says 2023 so I think I'm gonna get that really extra um it's the 2023 and it's silver that's the one I showed in like a couple of vlogs back when I was with the kids there and they that's all they had was just those two different headbands and now there's like 30 different headbands to choose from um but I also liked they had gold silver and black necklaces so I think we're gonna do that too depending on what the kids want so but I'm bringing them back here because I don't know girl I don't know uh but it is turning out to be a beautiful day today you guys it's supposed to rain all day we've been having such crappy rainy icky weather like some days it's like hot and humid or warm and humid and some days it's like chilly oh it's just been gross but today it's literally 64 degrees right oh hell no that's why i'm hot it's 64 degrees right now and the sun is shining and it is so freaking pretty so i am about i am about to head on over to panera so girl let's go eat some lunch together let's do this Okay, so lunch was good. I've actually never had a sandwich at Panera. I usually either have a warm bowl or a salad or soup. And it was really good. I don't think I'd order it again, though, and be honest. I feel like there was the ratio to the bread to meat ratio was not good enough. This camera is moving. Um, I feel like they needed a little more meat. So it's 12.50. 68 degrees out right now I guess the sun is like coming in and out and it's supposed to rain again tonight not happy about that but I have my hair appointment in less than an hour and I'm deciding what should I do because I low-key don't want to go into um I'm gonna stop talking because people just pull up next to me Doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick up my phone pretend I'm just like mm, hopefully they don't see my camera Girl, don't ask me why I do this, like, for real, for real. Okay, so are you guys ready to see my new haircut? You guys ready? <sighs> I hate it, you guys. I don't even want to show you, so I think I'm going to end the vlog just like this, okay? <gasps> just kidding! Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. She did such a good job. Doesn't it look amazing? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you wanna see the back? Oh, I love it, I freaking love it. Like, it's so soft, it's so shiny, and like, it's still curled. Like, you didn't have to put an ass ton of product to get it to last for like five minutes, are you kidding me? Girl Teach taught me how to curl my hair and everything. She literally had me hold the curling barrel for this piece and this piece. And she was like, girl, you got this. She was, she's my new hairstyles. She is my new hairstyles. But anyways, what she told me that I did not know was to get a one inch curling iron. I always use either 1.25. No, I don't ever use 1.50, but I always use a 1.25. And apparently that's too big for my hair. That does not hold curl. So I popped right on over to, to Target TBS. I did go to CVS too, because CVS is in Target. And I picked up my nausea. He, my doctor prescribed me nausea medicine and patches for the cruise, just in case. Because I was 19 when I went on the cruise. That was a long time ago. That was also before my panic attacks had started a brewing. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely built differently now. So I might experience nausea, you never know. So just in case, I'm also gonna get some for my kids. But yeah, I popped on over to Target. This was $11.99, $11.99. And she told me that she prefers the, the one with the clamp. I'm like, I cannot do the clamps. That's why she was teaching me. So we're just gonna keep practicing and keep practicing because I want my hair to look like this every day. I don't even know that I wanna do my hair straight because like when it's straight, it flips out, you know, not crazy about that. 
but I freaking love it. Like, it's so bouncy. <laughs> she was like, I really love your hair short. She was like, it like literally just brings up your face. And she was saying that, um, uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's just, it's like so bouncy and so much lighter. It feels so good. So you can totally be sexy and feminine and still have short hair. Don't let society lie to you, okay? Just saying. I'm gonna go work out. I will see you guys later, probably when practice the wing liner again. Hopefully tonight will be better. <laughs> I might need to watch a couple of takes. Do you guys feel that? Like, I feel like either my first time doing a wing since a really, like I haven't done it in a really long time, so my first time doing it is like, oh, I did pretty good, like I'm surprised why don't I do this every day? And then I go to do it the next day and I'm like, um, this is why. I don't know what it is. Beginner's luck, I don't know. I don't know, but that just seems to always happen to me. Um, so we're gonna keep practicing though. We're gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna find the technique that works best for me. I was gonna say, I also find that if I watch videos prior to doing it, that I, I feel like I have better luck. Okay, so it is 6.02. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Y'all, I am literally obsessed. My kids freaking love it. Like, they usually love me in long hair and like Ava didn't even notice when she saw me and then I was like, hello, are you not gonna say anything? And she was like, oh my God, I love it. I love it, it looks so good. And I'm like, right, love it. Okay, anyways, we're gonna try this again. So, Next thing we're doing are the brows. Let me tell you something. When I was in that hair salon, I was like, why do my brows look so bad? I swear they have the worst lighting. Anyways, I'm gonna do it with the lashes today because I still gotta go get my son. And who knows if we're gonna go somewhere after that. Maybe we'll go to party seat. I don't know. Anyways, the chicken thighs that I'm cooking right now, by the way, they're in the oven. They're so, they smell so good. They smell so good. Anyways. We're gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw my invisible line because you're supposed to go from here and then do my flick. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay. <sighs> okay, no pressure, Jill, no pressure. <gasps> okay, okay. Do y'all know the comment I got to listen? Listen to this comment that I got. Yikes, and you don't even have green eyes as we have just learned from your YouTube channel. You have lied to your viewers for so long. Y'all, I can't with some people. <laughs> tell me why. Tell me why she felt the need to tell me that. Tell me why she felt the need to feel like she's been lied to. I have said so many times I have color contacts. Do I mention it in every video? No, because it would kind of it would kind of become redundant. But I've literally been wearing these same green contacts since I was 19 years old. Do I feel the need to tell everyone that every single time? Do I feel the need to tell to tell people when they say, "Oh my gosh, you have such pretty eyes," to be like, "Oh, they're color contacts." No, because girl, as far as I'm concerned, I've been wearing them since I was 19 years old which means they are my eye color, okay? Okay, why do you think I miss green eyes? Because I have green eyes. But I also have green eyes when I'm not wearing these because I have hazel eyes and they're pretty predominantly green. Anyways, y'all wanna know something else that I learned? Which, duh. When I was doing, when I was dancing, I was like, I'm gonna do these hair flips. I'm gonna do these hair flips. Hair, yeah, I can hair flip now. Like so much easier than, cause girl, have you ever tried a hair flip with like all that hair? Whoo, it's a, it's a lot. Okay, so I'm really liking this little flick. So we're we're good. We're we're going some. We're getting. We're. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, hold on. Okay, so up. Flick. Seriously. what I get for talking shit, you know what I mean? Not really, I'm not talking trash. I'm just, I'm just saying, I think that some people's comments are like, why, why did you need to, why did you feel the need to say that? Why, why? 
All right, let me go back and look at these pictures. So, I have one more eye. I really should try this also with, um, what's it called? I should look down. My fold is literally right there, though, at my eyelid, at the end of the eyelid. Uh, what was I saying? I should try this with, um, eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Day number three, we are still horrible. <laughs> Y'all do that. Oh, I expect if I practice that I better be good and I better know what I'm doing in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> Why do we do that to ourselves? Okay, this is, this is awful. Like this is like pointing down. I don't... I'm taking this off. This is coming off. If I mess up the rest of my makeup, oh well. Eh, I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal. What I am going to do is tonight, before I like actually take this makeup off, like tonight, tonight, I am going to practice again, but I'm gonna try another technique. Okay, so anyways, that is gonna do it for this vlog. I got nothing else for y'all. I had a really, really, really good week. I'm excited to be back on track with my exercising. I'm excited to feel better again because last week I felt horrible. So thankful for that. I love you guys. Make sure you leave a comment down below in the comment section. Anything that I can think to link, I will link down below in the description box for you guys. And you're getting so close to Christmas, you guys. Are you guys ready? But um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here or if you watch my videos and you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, click that thumbs up button button or thumbs down if you didn't like this video as well. By the way, yes, I am wearing the same shirt and the same sports bra that I wore yesterday. Do not judge me, okay? Okay. I am however wearing different pants. You can't you can't see cuz I can't pull my leg up that high yet, but I will one day. One day, I'm not going to say soon, but one day I will. Uh but I'm wearing my red my red leggings today. My legs are hurting today too. But anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you guys either on Tuesday or Thursday of this week, hopefully with a Shein try on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.